Hey guys, it's Powered Up My Car, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. And in this episode, we'll be starting a new galaxy known as the Honey Hive Galaxy. And in this episode, we'll, we'll discover a new power-up. So I had to edit out a lot. And so... This, I had to edit out a lot, like last time, as I just said. And so then, the bee will tell you a bunch of stuff. Try to avoid characters that talk to you, that forcefully talk to you. Like, we'll just turn around and we're forced to listen to what they say. Try to avoid that. So yeah, I'm trying to rush through. And, oh my! Oh, that's the first, that is the first time I was able ever able to do that. This was recorded last night. Oh, March 10th. So then the new power up. Oh, I forgot to edit that out. And there's a lot of coins here. Mm -hmm. Honey is heavy. Yeah, if you step in the honey, it'll be a little sticky. You just gotta shake those pesky little blue drops, lift things away. So. Whoosh. Here we go. So you gotta climb your way onto the flowers. But on this planet, there's a lot of star bits on one of the flowers. Sorry if you hear any background noise. But look at all those star bits. I physically, there were so many, I just physically had to stop. I physically had to stop. And this was really hard to get up. It's like, B Mario would just not go up. I'm like, just go! Come on, uh, finally. So now let's go up. Up we go! Whee! So then you'll have to climb this wall. You'll automatically stick to it. So let's fly up a little bit. If you use your flying power, you can save a few. Some time, but not a significant amount. So, mm hmm. That's a cool little feature that I've got planned out. And just by defeating a chomping plant, a coconut comes out, and yeah, a vine. Please find the source at once. Yeah, so then they're going to have to walk all over the wheel. Yep, and you'll have to find the pain or something. And so go like, oh, that's the ticket. That thing will go away. I could have edited like five more seconds out there. Yeah, the wind, they really, really don't get it in the way. And then you'll greet, you'll be greeted to Captain Toad, but I edited out, edited out his long text. So then you'll take the power star in, and we'll give you a power star in. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Next episode, Surfing 101 in the Hoot. A new galaxy, the Loopy Loop Galaxy. And that one goal looks like a shine sprite. So this is Ray Surfing. It's only done in two levels at a game. So it's highly unused, if you know what I mean. And this guy will ask you, hey, are you a Ray Surfer? So then I'll give you a tutorial, so then you start off. But this has a lot of coins and I'd be urged to collect them all. But then basic controls are, press A to speed up, go straight, which is the starting position, turn left to go left, turn right to go right. So then this is a race. Yeah. They're in the second course, and one of the penguins wishes you good luck. But in the second course, you can actually win right as you're about to fall off the course. Yeah, and there are there is a one. Do oh, I miss the one up? And this is post commentary. I find it easier with post commentary. It's just who I am. <laughs> mhm. Mm 
but in my New Super Mario Bros. 2 Let's Play and Super Mario 64 DS. I did um, live commentary since I used my camera. And Pinnacle Studio isn't the friendliest capture device, but it still works. Mm hmm. Turn. It's not really that hard. And here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. And. Yay! Woo! And right as we're about to fall. But then the penguin will give you a gold medal. Well, it's just a power star. Mm hmm. I'm being fancy. If you know what I mean. Then back to the I mean I got the trouble on the tower. I had to, I had to hit out some more clips. Mm -hmm. Mostly the long text. Yeah, the only text I don't get is just stuff I I forgot to from Starbit. Yep, I always have trouble finding the vine. You gotta be careful right there or else you'll fall. But then you gotta, then you'll easily lock onto that one. And I have the urges to stomp that. <laughs> yep. So then you gotta ground pound on the red switch. And it'll make the wiggler squirm. And it'll wiggle around. You got a ground pound on that. There's a billboard known as Billboard. And all the. Yeah. Instead of Billboard, there's a Gill board, Jill board, Lil board. But the Jill board is such a jerk. It's like, can that guest and get lost? And I'm, and, but if I was Mario reading that sign, I would have been like, you know what, do I have to smash you up with my shake power? That's what I would tell it. But if you're a ghost, you'll be like, you remember the basic controls, right? I don't know. Yeah. So then, we'll go down to this planet, and if you can be perfectly straight while diving down, you can get a bunch of star bits. Got a couple. Oh, I missed. And I just wanted to say that I did have some trouble finding the switch. Mm -hmm. The actual recording was like 23 minutes, but I edited out 8 minutes. Well, actually more than 10, like 15 minutes. About 16 minutes because um, the horrible whole thing, Pinnacle Studio 14 is, all it did was, it extended the last frame for like, a long time. Then there's the boss, No, oh, I missed! If you flatten the top piece, it'll get angry. Then if you do it again, there's your star, yay! And, the day that I'm recording the commentary, March 11th, I just wanted to say, in three days, March 14th, it's my birthday. So then we're at a new galaxy to flip switch galaxy. It's only one star, and this is the smallest galaxy in the game, believe it or not. Painting the planet yellow. Well, you have to paint it green, and brick box, brick boxes, or brick blocks that don't serve a purpose. They're just there for decoration. If you know what I mean. Sorry if you heard the loud buzzer, it's the stove or something. Watch out for the purple guy. Yeah, whole shoot lasers. When I say purple guy, I mean that spring thing. I'm not talking about the purple guy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2 and 3. Now, with FNAF... I've kind of been forced into a FNAF Let's Play. It's like, oh, do FNAF, do FNAF, do FNAF. Do Five Nights at Freddy's. 
and I'm doing a different kind of FNAF LP. Most people expect me to play it on the computer and have a face cam to see my reactions to the jump diamond to the jump scares. And I know you couldn't see it, but I used my air quotes again. So then back at the Kenny Hive Galaxy, there's a boss battle, big bad bugaboo. But anyways, with FNAF, there are two types of people in the FNAF fan zone. There's FNAF players and FNAF theorists. I'm better at FNAF series, but no one really seems to appreciate it. Everyone wants me to do play FNAF. And it doesn't matter if I say no, they're still going to beck and go crazy. So I had to sit it out the part where I go to the other side, and I got a um, special red mushroom, which gave me three extra pieces of health. So, and the queen will just explain to you that the neighbors are causing trouble again. There's only one neighbor. We'll pick up, you should pick up the bee mushroom. Unless you, you're hacking and you have unlimited red star power, then you could just fly over. Up you go! Whee! So then, we have to ground pound bugaboo, or big bad bugaboo, three times. We'll get angry the first time. Ugh, I forgot to edit out that. Yeah, I'm not the best YouTuber. I feel like I'm kind of... I'm, I feel like I'm a little... Real, I feel like no one really likes my videos. Do I miss? And he poops out explosive bombs. Yeah. He's the, it's common that you'll... Do, do I miss? That you'll miss him a lot. Got to figure out his insanely hard pattern. So then I'll get really angry, and so you're gonna have to get him. And come on! I could have edited it out so much. But anyway, in the FNAF world, I really was forced into a let's play, and I really know I don't want to let any of my fans down. But I just wanted to inform you, I can't. I don't have. Steam on my computer, so don't expect me to play Steam games. So now we're at the boss area for the first dome. Bowser Jr.'s robot. Another Rex Reactar. I can't read it. In the small little window. So that Pinnacle Studio 14 offer that makes the screen really small. And who saw the life loss screen? It's because I had a failed attempt, so I edited out edited out that. Come on. Yeah. There's only two planets in this galaxy. That's the main planet. Then there's the boss planet. And that's probably one of the weirdest boss designs. I had to doubt a cutscene. Bowser Jr. was like, eh, I don't need my dad's help. Get a mega leg. Mm -hmm. Tr trying to summit, summon the bullet bills up is really hard. Well, just try to ignore the three there because there's a bullet bill cannon up there. But it'll be too late once you find that out. Come on. Do oh, I missed. But it's common for the bullet bills to crash into other bullet, bill, bullet bills in the process. Siren invasion! Do I miss? But the boss is gonna be over in less than a minute. See what I mean? The bullet bolts just fly into each other. I try again. And again. Till I realize. Oh yeah, I gotta summon them both. So I really am not big on playing FNAF, but if my fans want me to do it, okay. I'm gonna be playing it on my iPad. Yeah, and I won't be using a screen recorder. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm just going to use my camera, so get used to the 10 minute recording limits. And, well, there's the grand star, and well, thanks for watching, and bye. Yeah.